I'll give you a story. And then a final hadith of the Holy Prophet of Islam. Musa alayhi salam is in the middle of the Red Sea. And as the waves come crashing around and begin to swallow up Fir'aun and the army of Fir'aun, there comes a moment, according to our ahadith, there comes a moment when Fir'aun looks towards Musa longingly in an extent of a hand as if to say, Oh Musa, save me from this moment. Imagine the terror. You're about to be drowned. You've just seen your whole army be drowned. The waves are crashing around upon you. The water is going into your lungs. Fir'aun looks longingly for a moment of safety at the hand of Musa alayhi salam. Do you know what the hadith says? Musa alayhi salam turns his face away in disgust at Fir'aun. I want nothing to do with you, Fir'aun. I will not save you at this moment. The hadith says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed into the heart of Musa at that moment, O Musa, why did you turn away in disgust from Fir'aun? He says, O Allah, this is Fir'aun. He is the one who has claimed godhood against you. He is the one who said, build this high bridge and I will come up and fight against the Lord of Musa. Now you want me to save him? Now you want me to extend a hand to him and pull him out of the water that is drowning him and Al Fir'aun at this moment? Listen to the response of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, O oh Musa, the reason why you turned away in disgust from him was because he wasn't a creation of yours. Had you created him, you would have seen him the way I see him. And if Fir'aun had just called towards me and not you, I would have been the one to save him. Look at the difference between how we see people and how we see the world versus how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees people and the world. Even Fir'aun, if he had called out to me, I would have saved him. Our problem is that we take every other idea as our own idea other than Islam's ideas. We divide, we separate, we make him to be black, we make him to be white. And then we buy into the very supremacist model of living that was first created to put you into slavery in the first place. And then we complain later on that white slavery exists. In the last sermon of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The Prophet stated, there is no difference between Arab and non-Arab. Arab is not superior to non-Arab. Non-Arab is not superior to Arab. Black is not superior to white. White is not superior to black. Except he who has the most amount of taqwa, God consciousness in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah doesn't see black and white. The Prophet doesn't see black and white. Allah never divided you into a superior race and an inferior race. He never made one group of people to be essentially better than another people. It was only about he who has greater piety and justice within them as a soul. The more you and I buy into these ideas that race exists, the longer you and I will perpetuate the very ideas and foundations that white supremacy uses in order to be able to say that you are less than someone else. It requires us.